imagine a world where every young person has the capacity, capability, and ability to unleash their potentials in order for them to earn a livelihood for self-growth and self-development. So how can donor community and development partners deliver for rural youth? What is needed for a pragmatic youth empowerment ecosystem is basically two things. The first is money, but not money in terms of hard currency. Money, the M stands for meaningful youth engagement with a focus on youth programming and youth mainstreaming and also youth mentorship. The O stands for opportunities for youth development. I'm challenging you to have a youth strategy so you can be able to mainstream concretely uh, youth issues within your work. The N stands for networks and networking opportunities. The E stands for education for sustainable development with a strong focus on Tibet. The education system in Africa is not working and uh, we need to rethink and reorganize our education infrastructure in Africa. Uh, we have a lot of young people graduating and now when you look at the labor market information system, the transition from, uh, uh, from school to work, there's a huge mismatch. And that's the reason why we have a lot of uh, young people unemployed in Africa. Y stands for youth entrepreneurship, with a special focus on agribusiness, including the you know, green and blue economy. Now, the next thing we need is a farm but not the farm that we go and cultivate. The F stands for finance, which is, of course, innovative financing. A stands for access to land, especially for rural women, and of course, access to training, capacity building. The R stands for renewable technology, technology that is affordable to rural youth and also transferable. The M stands for mobility, and marketing. Young people, when they finish farming and doing all the things they have to do within the value chain, uh, they need mobility and access to the market. I want to end by giving us some key concrete recommendations. I think if implemented, will pave a way for making sure that uh, rural youth are empowered and capacitated. First is for development partners and financial institutions to ensure flexible microfinance and bank loan facilities for young people. Young people are not rich in terms of finance. They are rich in terms of energy and in terms of ideas. One of the concrete steps we need to take is to make sure agriculture and agricultural studies in high schools is very practical, so that young people start getting the knowledge at an early age. Also, we need to initiate and pilot uh, youth tailor-made projects and programs in agribusiness, but also provide young people with technical expertise. I would also recommend, uh, as a matter of policy issue, that we try to work together in organizing a biannual African Rural Youth Forum, where we actually get this rural youth uh, to the meetings, for them to interact with policymakers. Last but not the least, I think this forum and this space is very, very important. And I want to recommend that uh, a youth advisory group be created by the Global Donors uh, Platform on Rural Development to advise and also to mainstream the voices of youth uh, within this entire process. In bringing my short keynote statement to a conclusion, I just wanted to say that empowering youth in the agricultural sector extends beyond creation of tailor-made opportunities and incentives for young people to engage in agriculture. The direct impact and economic benefits it will bring to young people and above all, addressing the youth unemployment titanic is perhaps the most important dimension. So when you think agriculture, think wealth. Thank you very much.